So I found a new tool that does exactly what Midjourney does, but a lot cheaper because it's all for free, doesn't matter how many images you make. So let me show you what it can do. So the tool is called Blue Willow and it's very easy to set it up. So we just go to the website bluewillow.ai and here we press join the beta. This works the same as with Midjourney, you just join on Discord. So when I join here, you have a couple things to do. Let's uh, go to the frequently asked questions and see what they can answer. So is this free? As of right now it is. So probably because this is the beta, it is still free. But like Midjourney, maybe in the future it will have uh, membership prices. And it's also not finished. So they ask what are the upcoming features for Blue Willow? Lots, we are working on release schedule, but we're not organized. We're not that organized yet. Check announcement for info. But as with Midjourney, you can go to the right to the bot, you can double press, and you just do a message. And after that, you will have your private Imagine generative chat. So you're not sharing it with all the other people in the rookie channel or whatever. And you can just create images by doing slash imagine. I want to imagine a cat on the moon watching a rainbow star. Let's just see what it comes up with. In Blue Willow you have a setup that's pretty similar to Mid Journey. You have some info on the left, you have some support and um, here in the bottom you have the rookie rooms where people just make a lot of content. So here you can have some information that helps you when you want to create nice images. It is just as nice as Midjourney, maybe a bit different style, but it is all free. So let me go back to the chat. Here I have my cat on the moon watching a rainbow star. I think I like this one with the, with the big moon behind. And we might want to get more specific later. So we have the images here, I like the second one. And here we have the U1234 and the version 1234. So if you press the U1234, it's an upscale. So let's say you like the second picture, you can do U2 and you will get the upscaled version of the image. If you press the V1234, you get a different version that looks kind of similar. So if you like the fourth one, but it's not exactly what you want, you can press V4 and you'll get four kind of similar images that you can use. So here we already have the upscaled one and you see the eyes are a bit wonky, but that's okay. I mean, it's, uh, it's for free and it works. You can get some motivation from other rooms. So the nice thing is you can see what images are created with exactly the kind of commands with the prompts that other people use. I like this one. It's a concept art of spaceship at space station, loading crowd tractor beams, sci-fi, futuristic, industrial. But we can add some of our own commands to it. Ah, so here we have the number four that I wanted a different version. And then we receive four different versions that are kind of similar, but just a bit of different. So I just copied from someone else the prompts that they were using. But I want to add something extra, maybe some cyberpunk RGB kind of lights. And uh, lights. And let's see what it comes up with. So as you can see, it's exactly like Midjourney. You use it the same, you get kind of similar pictures. Midjourney would have a bit better art style, I believe. But if you can fine tune your prompts, you get three really nice pictures. So here we have our concept art of the battle station. It doesn't look bad, it, it looks pretty good. Um, I like the, this one has the nice lights. Let me upscale that one. Upscale number three, because one, two, three. So we want to upscale number three. And the upscaling goes quite quick also, it's really fast. Open in browser. And this is cool. This is, I mean, just like Midjourney, this is just cool to use and you create images that didn't exist before. It's amazing. Then I want to show you the site Lexica. And Lexica is a stable diffusion search engine and you can get prompts from Lexica that will give nice results in Blue Willow. So what you have to do is on the right with the settings, instead of Lexica aperture, you choose stable diffusion 1.5. And here below you see all different kind of images that are created. And if you press one, 
you will see the full prompt that I used. So I can just copy the prompt, go to my private uh, Blue Widow chat, imagine, and create a new image. Let's see how that one looks on, on my command. So here you see different versions that got created with the same prompt. So let's see how it looks on ours. And here you can see we got our own version of what we just saw and it, it looks it looks cool. This one even has the, has the moon in the background. It looks very nice. Let's upscale that one. So if you're lost or want some inspiration, then Lexica is a really good place to look because there's so much stuff that you can just steal from there and even make better when you practice yourself. So upscale this one. And this is just, this is very pretty. This is just some art that you could see somewhere. It looks like a still from my anime series or something. It's just amazing that you can do this. And again, the best part is it is free. But I still like my cat on the moon. So let me type it here one time and see what four things are appearing. And see many, many different styles. See drawing, you see a painting, this kind of style. And it's pretty in this one with the very realistic. I like this one, it's a kind of anime style, I guess. This is just very artsy. This is very pretty and I want to try my own. So I'm just gonna copy the prompt. This just looks pretty, it's like art. We are creating art in a free tool. So yeah, I think this shows what Blue Willow does. It's like Mid Journey, but it's totally free. There's no pricing plans, no subscription, nothing. The sky is the limit. You can go create images the whole day long if you want. And I suggest just go take a look. It's free, why not? Use Lexica so you can get some nice inspiration for different kind of things. And if you like this video, please subscribe and I will make a lot more content like this. And enjoy and be creative.